To describe the ion-ion interaction, it is necessary to know the distribution of ions in solution and the nature of the forces between the ions. This task is very difficult, because the ions and dipoles of the solvent are in chaotic motion, and ions can form associates, complexes, and undissociated molecules. If we assume that the electrolyte is completely dissociated, then the solvent is a continuous medium with a dielectric constant energy, and they all interact only according to the Coulomb law. In the tabai huckel model, the so-called central ion is selected, which is regarded as a stationary, the coordinate system attached to the center of the ion. Other ions are located near the central ion. The nature of this distribution is due to the field of the central ion. which decreases with distance and the thermal motion of the ions. Therefore, the closer to the central ion, the greater the probability that there will be an ion of the opposite sign. That is, the distribution will look as The central ion becomes surrounded by an ionic atmosphere. The thermal motion of ions in the ionic atmosphere leads to the fact that the discrete charges of these ions seem to be smeared. As a result of this, the ionic atmosphere, consisting of individual parts, can be changed by a cloud of smeared charge. The total charge of the ionic atmosphere should be equal to the charge of the central atom and opposite in sign. Since the ionic atmosphere has spherical symmetry, the Poisson equation written in a spherical coordinate system takes the form. And it connects the volume charge density with a potential at a distance from the central ion. To find the volume density, consider a small volume at a distance r from the central ion. If the local concentration of the ion in the volume is equal to and its charge number with sign is equal to then the full charge will be and volume charge density Local concentrations are associated with volumetry by a Boltzmann equation.
in the debye huckel model, only Coulomb forces are taken into account and therefore, consequently, Substituting this relation into equation, that resulting differential equation cannot be integrated. Therefore, in the theory of the bind Huckel, the exponential arranged in a row. and used only the first two terms of the row. This operation is valid only when that is for sufficiently dilute solutions. Under these conditions, instead of the ratio, since Due to the electroneutrality of the solution, we get the formula. After substituting this formula in the equation, a differential equation of the form where easy to see that when introducing a new variable the equation takes a standard look and therefore has a general solution. That is Since at a considerable distance from the central ion, that is the integration constant. To determine the constant A1, first substitute for the potential of the equation in the equation. subject to takes the form therefore the charge of a spherical shell with a radius r and the thickness dr is Since the total charge of the ionic atmosphere is then where the lower limit of integration depends on the intrinsic size of the ions. So, 
If we accept that the centers of the ions can only approach each other to a certain distance a, then And therefore, if we assume that the ions have point sizes, then The first approximation of the debye huckel theory corresponds to the condition of point ions and therefore To calculate the ion-ion interaction, it is not the general potential that is important, but its part that is created by the ionic atmosphere at the location of the central ion. This potential is called the potential of the ionic atmosphere. When calculating it, the principle of superposition of electric fields is used, according to which for point ions where represent the potential created by the central ion. As a result, we get To determine the limit, you can use the L'Hopital rule or expand the exponent in a row. As a result, the expression limit in square brackets is minus kappa and therefore The ionic atmosphere has the same effect on the central ion as a thin spherical shell would have on it, having a certain charge and located at a distance. This distance is called the radius of the ionic atmosphere. The interaction of the central ion with the ionic atmosphere can be reduced to the Coulomb interaction of two ions. The energy of this interaction will be This energy is equally distributed between the two ions. Thus, the change in the energy of the central ion due to its interaction with the ionic atmosphere is This formula can also be obtained in two other ways. In the first of them, energy was calculated on the basis of the mental process of charging the central ion and all ions entering the ionic atmosphere. In this case, during the charging process, the redistribution of ions arising due to their electrostatic interaction was taken into account. The charging work, calculated in this way, the Debye charging process, applied to all the ions in this system, and therefore, to find the energy value, it had to be differentiated by the number of ions of this type. In the second method, which was called the Güntelberg charging process, it was assumed that the process of mentally charging ions is not accompanied by their redistribution. That is, 
it was assumed that they acquired the, the final distribution characteristic of a charged ionic atmosphere before charging. This method is equivalent to the process of charging a capacitor consisting of a central ion and a spherical shell surrounding it with a constant radius. The work of charging according to the Güntelberg method immediately gives the magnitude of the interaction of the central ion with the ionic atmosphere. It should be emphasized that the different ways of calculating the change in energy of the central ion due to its interaction with the ionic atmosphere give matching results only when the relation holds. In conditions of non-linear dependence, different calculation methods lead to different results. It has not yet been established which method is more accurate, since the Poisson-Boltzmann equation obtained by substituting the formula. In equation, it has not strict substantiation in statistical mechanics.